some time She stay switching sides Got no time, pay no mind Bitch I hope I make it out alive I can't lie no more, I've been really high For some time, she stay switching sides Got no time, pay no mind Stay under pressure, yeah. diamonds ain't made under pressure yeah. I got a pressure pack in my bag, yeah I'm peeking, I'm floating, I'm smoking All the south, I'm from the north Chocolate from the south, from the south. Move to the east, diamonds from the west Ladies and gentlemen, it's your resident black Spider-Man, Garobin Blili Today, we're back, the art dealers uh, if, First of all, I just want to say this If you're listening on Spotify or Apple uh, I do encourage you to move maybe to YouTube because we this episode is visual. It's a special episode today. Um, and you're probably wondering, where on earth are we? This is a very special location. Uh, the, the future home of the art dealers, let me just say that. But I'm just going to leave it there. As you can see, it's still a bit rustic, but uh, we're excited about the future. Uh, Timmy is here with me. We've got, we got a few couple, we've got a few guests as well. So just before we start, as you guys know, we love fashion, we love pop culture here at The Art Dealers. And this episode is going to be one of many where we start to feature more fashion-related content. Um, I know a while back during COVID last year, uh, we did an episode with Kemiso Wesi, the creative director of Hayes Magazine. Um, that was a really exciting and really interesting conversation. Style Talks, I kind of resurrected an old uh, thing that I used to do on my blogs back in the day where I spoke to someone just about their fashion journey and what they love about fashion. And obviously, Hayes being a fashion magazine was also really exciting to be able to talk to someone who's just as passionate about fashion as I am. Um, so yeah, guys, this one is going to be amazing. If you guys know someone who's been on the pod before, uh, Mr. Aru Jacobs, Takunda Jura. Uh, you guys have seen him around. Um, he's got an amazing brand called Dusty Judy, but we'll let him talk more about it. Um, this is going to be a cool collaboration episode. He's got a brand new collection coming out. We're going to show you all of it here today. We're going to talk to him about it, find out his mind behind it, about the brand itself. And it's going to be an amazing episode. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll check in a little bit. gentlemen i'm joined by none other yes, than takunda jura yes sir. ladies and gentlemen tk for the people who may not know who you are you've mm -hmm. obviously been on the show before yes sir uh some of the early fans of art dealers may know we, yeah. we did an interview with you talking about your music yes sir but a lot of people don't know that you're multifaceted yeah you know you got a lot of things going multi-talented young man Absolutely. It's my little brother right here guys you yeah. know I'm, I'm proud i'm proud of this young man yes sir and uh, just for the people who may not know uh, may not know you, um, who may not have seen that original episode. Tell them a little bit about yourself and uh, what's happening. And Absolutely. So yeah, when I first came onto the art dealers, I was lanky, mm. lanky boyaki, and then I made the transition to Aru Jacobs, and yeah, basically that transition was just like me wanting a name that would suit my brand, right? With a name with meaning, and yeah, just something that I could stand for. Yeah. So what's crazy is Aru is my surname backwards. Oh, it's and not, yeah. yeah, I was just like, man, let me think out of the box. But yeah, um, I'm back and I'm better. Back and I'm better. <laughs> back and I'm better. And yeah, basically, I, I make music. Mm. I'm a stylist and I model. Of so, course, yeah. Yeah, I just, I do it all. Yeah. I do it all. So for this episode, like we're saying, uh, like I said in the intro, we're wanting to focus more on, do some more fashion related content. Absolutely. And uh, you have a clothing brand, clothing company. Yes, sir. Uh, tell the people a little bit about it. What's the origins? How'd you come up with the name? What's the aesthetic of it? Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, I started Dusty Duty in 2019. And the origins of the name um, basically go back to my childhood. And basically, whilst growing up, I, I took note of a lot of the experiences that I went through. Mm. And I won't lie, growing up, things weren't as easy. So I just found myself taking notes of those small things. And I remember one time, I think it was in 2011, mm. where 
financially it was it was tight at home and I, I saw the parents the parents were trying their best to still provide for us and yeah I just saw that as us going through that rough patch being the dust mm. and the duty that being my parents duty to take care oh, of us nice. regardless so I was just like man let me try and incorporate something that I went through as a child and I can explain my story through fashion nice so yeah that's what I did and dusty duty is just a clothing line that I started to fully incorporate different sides of equality and just showing my story mm. through fashion it's amazing through designs etc see i didn't know that so that's uh <laughs> that is that's an amazing story some people just come up with the name they think the yeah. aesthetic is cool but that that's, is genuinely amazing thank you and being a being a fashion designer yes sir. You know, someone who is in fashion what is it that you love most about being in the industry what do you love most about being a designer about being a stylist um i can say for the past two years since i started in 2019 mm -hmm. i can honestly say i genuinely enjoy the freedom i get mm -hmm. when it comes to designing and just being able to fully express myself through clothing without feeling judged yeah. and looked upon so yeah freedom is something i truly enjoy within mm -hmm. this industry yeah. of clothing and fashion fire 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 and uh, a couple more questions yes sir. when you're creating mm -hmm. you know this could be music and uh, creating clothes as well when you're coming up with designs uh, working on a new song. Yes, sir. Are there people or are there things that inspire you? Yep. Mm -hmm. And what are those things that inspire you? Absolutely. So mm -hmm. in regards to the people, mm -hmm. um, my mom is a big inspiration mm -hmm. when it comes to designing clothing, as well as my past childhood. So basically incorporating stories I may have gone through as a kid or as a teenager in high school and just fully allowing myself to incorporate what it is I went through and yes yeah, still being able to tell my story yeah and i guess i truly find inspiration from my mom like i said she's a queen oh <laughs> shout out to her. mommy shout out to mom yeah and uh this is quite a broad question uh, mm -hmm. probably one of the more cliche questions in the industry uh, but what is fashion to you fashion to me is being able to express yourself through clothing mm -hmm. you know be it a simplistic look or a hectic look I guess, yeah, I just find fashion to, to be an outlet for people yeah. to express themselves through items and pieces of yeah. clothing. Nice. And yeah, nice. that's what I would say. And, and, uh, and kind of on that, a secondary question is, mm -hmm. for you personally, how do you stay on top of trends or are you not really trend driven? Mm -hmm. Or you just look at the trends and kind of like trying to incorporate your own thing? Yeah. Like what, uh, how do you stay up to date? Uh, personally, I like to do research. Um, in terms of the streetwear happening in certain countries. Mm. So I'll do that research and basically take certain things from each country and basically incorporate it in my own way mm. and put my own twist on it. And yeah, just create timeless pieces. Mm. Yeah. And before we get into the actual pieces, because I see you're wearing some of them now. Yes, sir. I just want to ask you, what is the goal for Dusty, Dusty, Dusty Duty? Absolutely. And where do you see it in like five years time? Absolutely. So mm. I see uh, in five years time, I see Dusty Dusty Duty opening a few stores mm. nationwide oh, fine. and yeah just doing a lot of pop-ups um, and just telling my story through fashion with people mm. meeting people and yeah just showing them that there is more to life than just focusing on the bad the rough patches and yeah allowing people to fully um, submerge themselves within clothing that's fire, fire. as hell yeah absolutely so, yeah so now we're gonna go into some of the pieces. We have some models here. Yes, sir. Wearing some of the pieces. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back just now yeah. and we're gonna go through each piece. Absolutely. Right, TK, so you brought some uh, some models with us. Yes, sir. Uh, so tell us what we're looking at. So basically, uh, the first design and the first tee is spoke to the most high. Yeah. And basically, this phrase I got when I, I was praying one morning, and I was just praying for my family, friends, and the people closest to me. Mm. So I guess when I prayed for that, um, I spoke to the most high. Yeah. Sure. And one I of the other times, uh, I remember, Earlier on in March, I had designed a few clothing, I mean, a few sets of clothing that I didn't really like. Mm. And I basically took my time to sit back, pray about it, 
and ask for, for guidance. Mm. And that's where the phrase spoke to the most high comes from. Fire. Just the, the prayer session. Yeah. And then you can turn around. With the hat, uh, basically states protect us yeah. with the R for dusty duty. Of course. Um, basically, this phrase also came from a prayer where I was praying for protection because of COVID, of course. Yeah. Just the uncertainty that we're in. Um, I was just praying for protection over myself and my family, friends. And I honestly felt I was so shaken when I designed this piece, mm. mainly because people can... Um, people can look at it in different ways yeah. and take it in their own manner. So yeah, this protects us, comes in different colors. And yeah, I'll show you the other pieces. All right. So before pieces. we get into the next colors, just talk us through some of the details Perfect. that you were showing us so off air. So like some of the details of the shirts or the cap. So what can you tell us for Absolutely. the people? So for the people who would like, who would love to see, I have some detailing on the truckers with uh, the dusty with the dusty tags as well as some detailing on the shirts with the dusty tags as well so basically that detailing um, I found to be really simplistic mm. and with the look I was going for everything came together well because this collection was specifically a simplistic collection yeah. that I was going for yeah and yeah Fire, fire. So we got a couple of variations of the shirts. Yes, sir. Uh, t talk us through some of the colorways. Maybe we can get the second model in as well. Absolutely. Yes, sir. So while uh, while you're talking about the variations, tell us what why the why the color combinations, why black with the green or like yeah. pink, and so tell us all about it. Yeah. So basically, with the black black shirt with green writing, I it was some research I did with the previous collection I dropped where. The writing was green as well mm. and basically customers loved that so i was like man let me incorporate something that people actually love mm. with the green and black and that was a piece i found timeless yeah. honestly with the lime green and over here we have a colorway of a blue trucker hat with black writing on the white um i just found it to work with the black writing mainly because the colors really support each other yeah really shining. absolutely yeah <laughs> so yeah i found that to work with the dark blue the black writing and the white and please turn around with the red writing on oh, the that's white cool. yeah i found it oh my shadow i found it uh, yeah that's cool yeah cool i found the red really well the white really allowed the red writing to stand out because it's like it's not usual it's yeah. unique uh with the black black on white combo absolutely combo. so good and yeah there, there are other variations of the tees where the black has red writing and the pink, I mean, the white has pink writing. So yeah, it was just a, a bunch of colors I was testing mm. and I was just excited to be unique and different with the color combinations. With this recent collection, mm -hmm. obviously there's a sampling phase. Yeah. We kind of go back and forth with the stuff we want to produce. Yes, sir. How long was that process before you kind of decided on uh, what, what came out or what's coming out? Absolutely. So what's crazy is um, that process actually took me two days. Okay. So I honestly thank God. Mm. <laughs> because it's, it's something I prayed over mm. for a smooth process throughout. And yeah, the process only took me two days to get the material, get the sampling done, and of course, get the initial product completed. And I was happy with that. Mm. So yeah. So for this upcoming collection, uh, before we tell people the release dates and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, what do you want people to take out of it most? Absolutely. Mm. So with this collection, I would love for people to honestly uh, just honestly incorporate praying into their lives mm. and yes yeah, speaking to the most high from any religion honestly mm. um, just giving it all to God and praying through it all for protection mm. peace love and quality through a it all absolutely quality number yeah. one so obviously we're filming before the actual drop yes sir but just before we end uh, let the people know when when is the drop how can they get a hold of some pieces absolutely uh well yeah what's the, what's the process when is it what's what's all happening absolutely yeah so uh everything's dropping on the 25th of october um the monday and you can find us at dusty duty underscroll and yeah the pieces will be live from monday come through check the instagram page the facebook page and yeah buy some merchandise ladies and gentlemen we've been the art dealers yes sir. it's been our jacobs <laughs> dusty duty we appreciate it we out here Absolutely. please cop the merch everything is going to be 
in the description, yes, all sir. that kind of stuff. Um, bro, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. First of many collaborations with the boy, you know, we're going to have our own collection one day, hopefully, yes, you know. Sir. Absolutely. Gonna be, it's coming. It's pressure. coming, guys. It's coming, guys. We're putting <laughs> pressure on the industry, I'm yes, telling sir. you. So everything's going to be in the description below. This episode is dropping the same day as the collection. So if you want to see everything, see all the B-roll, all that kind of stuff, it will be on our Instagram, that's Duty's Instagram, my yes, personal sir. one, everywhere. Yes, so if sir. you guys want to see the pieces, make sure to stay in tune with all of our socials. Yes, and guys, thank you so much. The art dealers are back. Zeros and Black Spider-Man, Aru Jacobs, that's your duty. Peace out. Switching sides, got no time, pay no mind